Hey what's up guys this is Wicked Android HD and tonight I'm going to be showing you Carbon ROM for the Galaxy S4 which is an official version as I will show you so unofficial Carbon ROM 5.1.1 based on Android 5.1.1 um, so Lollipop running Cyanogen mode kernel so you may have heard of uh, Carbon ROM group, Carbon ROM developers, they are well known, uh, well spread over the entire development world. Uh, and as always, as I told you a couple of, not actually, in the previous video, that uh, my f next reviews will be simply based on uh, some topics like uh, how it looks like, I'm talking about the design part. How it feels, how it behaves, how smooth it is. Talking about, I'm talking about the performance part and how battery friendly it is. So at the end of the video, I will make a conclusion about how it, um, it how it will work as a daily driver for you guys. And of course, I will mention all the pros and all the cons of it. So starting with the design, since it is a Cyanogen mode based ROM, it benefits of themes. So I have installed a couple of themes like Euphoria, Dark Theme or Playful Fat. Uh, flat. I like this one because it's a more dark one. Um, now, instead of, of uh, this application, themes application, we get the Carbon ROM fibers, which is uh, a category in the settings that lets you customize most of the of the graphical tweaks on this uh, on this ROM, starting from the status bar, buttons interface, going to notification draw, settings panel settings, recent panel settings, sorry, and advanced options. So if we go into uh, re uh, into notification bar, you'll see here some some columns talking about um, status bar, clock and date, battery status. You, you've already went through all of these if you flashed a, a CM ROM before. Some interesting features that comes with this ROM is this uh, are the breathing SMS and the breathing missed call. So what does this mean? I think I, I mentioned it earlier. So if I call a number for example 415 so I'm dialing this number and uh, I receive a notification it will have the effect of the breathing so you know that fade in and fade out so let's wait for the message to arrive so it arrived and ambient display should be present yep as you may see so it is present the ambient display is present but as you may see right here you know if I can focus properly on the corner the icon is kind of fading in and out so fading in and out like this so that's the breathing SMS breathing SMS icon really nice touch um, now the clock and date again a really nice touch uh, is that uh, they added the second clock so you may see those seconds um, and you can align it to sensor usual mass so battery status you can either choose from different icons and the network traffic network traffic versus okay and notification and system icons this is what you get Spoking, speaking about the interface we have all kinds of toast animations, toast scrolling mode, gesture anywhere, display animations, uh, system animations, scrolling modifiers, over scrolling effect, abstract bar, and app bar. So, anyway, this ROM, in terms of graphics, in, in terms of design, I would give it 10 out of 10. I gave the previous TouchWiz based ROM, uh, 
port, the Note 5 I guess, I gave it 9 of 10 because it wasn't this kind of customizable. But this one I would uh, prefer giving it a 10 out of 10. So 10 out of 10 for design, speaking about design, for this beautiful carbon wrap. Okay, um, so let's get into the performance part. Uh, what should I say? It's a CM12 ROM. It will be it will be fast for a couple of days or maybe weeks, but then things will start to slow down. That's that that happened on any CM12 I've been testing for more than two weeks, and uh, after I installed the titanium backup, uh, it started to lag. So, yep, it is good until it will build up all of cash then it will get uh, uh, it won't be as snappy as before so you may want to clear the cache install some clean master apps to uh, clean the junk files and so on so this spoke talking about the performance and the smoothness of this rom it is good since it is based on cm12 but you'll have to uh, regularly tweak it as I told you, clean the RAM, clean the memory, clean and so on. Um, one thing that uh, I do not recommend doing uh, on regularly on this kind of ROMs, so it's CM12 ROMs, is to clear all the memory, all the apps that are running. This is a major mistake while you're running, if you're running Android. But even it, if it looks faster after you clean up the memory it will be even even um, laggy laggier than before because again they have they have a system that uh, reopens all the apps that have been forced closed and that will take some again ROM and time and CPU and uh, of course if you stress out the GPU and the CPU the battery will went out really will go out will consume um, will be consumed really really fast so uh, let's open up some apps and see how it performs the multitasking we have here some different apps like YouTube um, Google which is here Calendar, Google, Hangouts, Gmail, you know, this kind of stuff. Sorry. Okay, so. This is how the recent app panel looks like. Such a big deal. And again, one really nice touch that I found on this ROM was that it shows you the multi window icon right here. So if I want to open the phone app in multi-window and just uh, you know maybe snap it to the top you can always open up another application multi-window like settings okay yep like this you know playing with it a little bit it's a really nice touch if i haven't seen this uh, option before any any cm roms Oh, this is a win now not every single thing on this ROM is perfect as you may know take a look at this notification drawer and select an order tiles and if I click add unfortunately settings has stopped so this is a bug not a major one this won't allow you to, to change these uh, toggles here. It's not such a big deal, but for me personally, it is. For you, it may not be, but for me, it is. Um, couldn't find any. So it was a file, from what I remember, uh, when I configured the, uh, you know, the Wi-Fi, entering the passwords and so on. I got a force close, but it was a really fast and quick one. Um, couldn't uh, couldn't even see what the force closed. But um, yeah, it uh, personally, as I told you in the end of the video, 
I'll give you my impressions and my conclusion about this ROM. Uh, personally, I wouldn't take it as a daily driver. That's my personal opinion. Because, uh, as I told you, force closes are really the things that you want to mess with, to be messed with uh, during the day or during navigation or during or listening to music or sending SMS important SMSs. Force closes if they will occur during these uh, simple steps like uh, customizing tasks, you will expect them from um, from more even simpler or more advanced actions that you would take on the Galaxy S4 with this running this ROM. So my conclusion is that um, this is a really good ROM uh, because it added a lot of features, it is very customizable, it is uh, fast as any CM ROM but I will recommend it as a daily driver that and um, that is why I told you earlier about the cons. So pros, I couldn't talk to you about the battery life because I'm really running low on it. I have to say that I started this review at 23% and now it is 20%. So 3% during uh, maybe 12 minutes of reviewing. It is pretty cool, pretty damn cool. So I think battery life is has to be awesome. So pros, battery life, um, design, tweaking, some really nice touches like the multi-window present on the recent app panel. Um, what else? Smoothness, but the cons are the force closes that occur and that for me is a big but so that uh, won't make this device suitable for me as a daily driver. So. That was it for today guys, I hope you liked it. If you did, please make sure you thumbs up and subscribe right down to my channel. And uh, thumbs up for this beautiful charger. Yeah. So, thank you for watching guys. With Tandroid is out. Bye bye.